Hello students, my name is Priyanka and I am your digital mentor. Today I am here to start with the chapter 5 of class 5 that is DRC, the land of dense forests. So let's kick start. Which of the following animals is found in the evergreen forests? Equatorial regions, location. Equatorial regions are located in bands on both sides of the equator and cover about 6% of the earth's surface. They are often lowland areas and have a climate that is hot and wet all the year round. These regions are home to tropical rainforests. Some of the largest rivers of the world like the Amazon, Mekong, Orinoco and Congo flow here. Let's know about the climate, plants, people and animal of these regions. So let's see the climate. The sun's rays are very direct in equatorial region. So the climate is very hot throughout the year. The temperature is usually above 25 degrees Celsius, the air is calm. Tropical rainforests receive over 168 cm of rainfall every year, which mostly pours falls in afternoons. The sun's heat makes a lot of water to evaporate from lakes, rivers, seas, etc and causes plants to transpire moisture. Warm and humid air then rises and cools to form clouds bringing rain. The weather of each day of the year is similar. Hence, these regions have no change in season. These regions are spread over the continent of South America, Africa, Asia and Australia. Now we are moving towards the plants. Due to all time availability of sunlight and rain, these regions are heaven for growth of all types of plants. Many types of hardwood trees such as mahogany, rosewood and ebony grow here. The forest here are so dense that the trees have to fight for sunlight. They grow very tall and spread out their upper branches to catch more light. The tops of these trees from a layer up to 7 meter thick called the canopy. It blocks the sunlight from reaching the forest floor. Climbing plants called lianas grow up to the sunlight. The forest floor is very dark and gloomy, so few plants can grow there. At this level, there is mass of rooting vegetation and fungus. The trees are adapted for living in hot and wet climate. They have waxy, large and flat leaves. The leaves have drip tips to help drain water quickly. These forests give evergreen appearance as the continuous growing seasons allow them to shed their leaves anytime. Coffee chocolate, banana, avocado and sugarcane all originally came from plants growing here. Now let's see the people of this area. People of various tribes live in these regions such as pygmies in Central Africa, the nomads or lumets in the southern Philippines and the Amazonian Indians of South America. The people are small so they can move through the forest easily. They make their clothes from materials around them such as softened tree bark. Their shelters are covered in waxy leaves to keep out the rain. Some of the people are nomads. Some are hunter-gatherers engaged in shifting agriculture. Many people who live in rainforest use boats on rivers to travel around. Now we are moving towards the animal of these regions. A diverse range of millions of different animal species live in the equatorial rainforest because there is a plenty of food, water and warmth. There are three types of 
animals which we found in these regions arboreal animals live among the branches of trees and keep on moving from tree to tree they include eagles parrots sloths flying squirrels spider monkeys tree frogs jaguars chameleons and holler monkeys land animals are small creatures and can live in the forest floor these animals include tapirs leaf cutter ants weevils etc aquatic animals also live in these forests due to water availability they include crocodiles alligator snakes turtles fish etc so now children it's time to move towards looking back equatorial regions are located in bands on both sides of the equator and cover only 6% of the earth's surface these regions have hot and wet climate and are heaven for the growth of plants people of various tribes live in these regions trees of the rainforest are tall and evergreen all types of animals arboreal land and aquatic are found there many people who live in rainforest use boats on rivers to travel around now children it's time to take your leave we'll meet in the next class so bye